Do you guys smell that? I know I do. That's the Shack Tank. First game I've been able to make it to all season. The Mormon Megalodon, Jim and Fredette, has sadly swam over to Greece, but we got some fresh imports and we got fresh hopes of winning a CBA championship. I am amped up. Let's go inside and have some fun. I was excited to be back in the Shack Tank and heckling opposing players. You suck, Jalen Reynolds! Fucking Jalen Reynolds thinks he's Marco Polo. Two years in the Italian League and then he comes out to China. Jalen Dior Reynolds. Marco Polo may have discovered pasta, but he was a shit basketball player. Oh my God, he was playing the Italian second tier league. You suck, Reynolds! But there seemed to be a dark cloud hanging over this season. Not only had Jim and Fredette abandoned the Sharks to play in the Greek League. Fucking the Mormon Megalodons on Mount Olympus right now, we're getting our ass kicked. We were also missing the heart and soul of the team. Our center, Zhang Zhao Shu, AKA the human shoelace. Unfortunately, shoelace, you can X him out. He went down in a freak squatting accident preseason. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. I think he broke his back. I'm not even joking. I don't know what's up with him, but he's definitely not on the court right now. If the Sharks even wanted to sniff the playoffs, our newest recruits, Donatus Montahunas and James Nanali, would have to play lights out. <laughs> Despite once having the lowest player rating in NBA 2K, James did show signs of greatness. But overall, him and the Sharks weren't exhibiting any of the magic they had in the past. And to make matters worse, when I visited my concession girls at halftime to drown my sorrows in beer and Fanta. Hey, Bobo. Oh, how Jobu Jen? I'm back. I bet you didn't think I was coming back. I received news that shook me to my core. Boya, Sangha Pijo, Iga Fanta. No. Sangha Pijo? No. 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 Mayo, Pijo? I don't want a water! Sanga Pijo, Iga Fanta. Mayo, Pijo. Wait, Shima. I'm not, I don't want to mix it a water. I want to mix it three beers and a Fanta. One Fanta is not going to cut it, Bao Bao. <laughs> <laughs> Bao Bao and the rest of the concession girls had been supplying me with beers and Fanta for as long as I've been a Shaxx fan. <laughs> and now that alcohol was banned, I was left with no booze and no hope. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink six waters. It doesn't taste the same without beers. Why would the management want to put the kibosh on that? It was a profitable business. I was getting like close to fucking six million beers a season. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Would you dial ship? Busha need a fault. But I'll tell you what, the shacks are on my shit list now. Bao Bao Hao. Bao Bao Hen Hao. Shanghai Shacks. Shit list. We created so many memories over beers. If you think about it, there's a beautiful friendship between us and it wouldn't have happened without three beers and a Fanta. But it's not gonna happen just over a Fanta. Now that you're not selling beer, this might be the last time that I ever see you. So I just, I just wanna say goodbye. It didn't have to end like this. Goodbye. <laughs> The Shanghai Sharks organizing committee more or less just murdered my mom. How about you start selling beers again and then we might win a game? You ever think about that? But I wasn't about to spend the rest of the season soberly watching my team lose in horrific fashion. Go Sharks! Let's go Sharks! So at the next game, I taped a bunch of beers to my stomach to determine just how serious security was about this alcohol ban. No. Oh, no. No. Hey, hey, hey. How do you get this off? 
I wrapped this like five times. I don't know. I don't know how to get this off. Hold up. Do you guys? Do you guys have like scissors? I I remember when being a Shanghai shark used to stand for something. It turns out pretty serious. Plus, the cop grabbed my girlfriend for filming me. She pushed back. Get off! Stop. Wishima. Wishima. Get off me! And we both came dangerously close to getting arrested. Show me your passport. I do not have my. Show me your passport. I did not push him. He grabbed my arm. It was clear that if I wanted to get booze into the shack tank, I'd have to be a little more creative. So I ordered veterinarian syringes, bought a bunch of fruits and vegetables, and injected them full of vodka. A piece of fruit is not going to set off the metal detectors at the Shark Tank. Going to juice this bell pepper up with 20 cc's of Absolute. Oh, there it goes. You can fit a lot of vodka in a bell pepper. Honestly, right now, I would just be on my way to the Shark Tank, be hanging out front, probably having a few pre-game beers, but no, I gotta spend my time shooting up fruit and vegetables. With all my produce hovering around 60 proof, it was time to put my plan to the test. All right, so it turns out they have a no outside food policy, which means most of my fruit was just confiscated at security. Shiguo. No, it's, I, I need, I need my vegetables. No, 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 at least like six nips worth of vodka. It wasn't glamorous. I got fucking bell pepper seeds in my fucking Fanta. But I had found a way to get buckled in the shack tank. Quite honestly, it's pathetic, but it works. However, just because I was now getting my buzz on at games, didn't mean the shacks were too. This is the season from hell, as evident by the fact I'm drinking vodka out of a fucking vegetable. The Sharks were sleepwalking through games. I feel you, man. The Shanghai Sharks are putting me to sleep this season, too. And our coach was starting to panic. He cut James Nanali after only a few games and replaced him with a dude named Ray McCullough. Was he the savior the Sharks so desperately needed? Let's go, Ray! Maybe so, because for the first time all season, we were playing hungry. Let's go, Sharks! Oh, God, I just got really Thank light you. Thank you. By the fourth quarter, the Sharks were only down by three, and the green pepper was empty. This is when things get really sad. Once the bell pepper's out of vodka, you're just gonna start eating it. The only upside to drinking booze out of a vegetable is that the nutrients counteract the toxicity of the alcohol. The Shacks fought back ferociously the last 10 minutes. I need more Jamaican air horns! And with only seven seconds left, we're up by two. Get him, Demo! Yes! Yes! Folks, the Shanghai Shacks are winning for the first time all game. Not for long, though, as on the next play, they let one of the Qingdao Eagles take a wide open three. How am I not surprised, dude? The Sharks had one more chance to score, but on the inbound pass, launched it to the fucking moon. I mean, there's a little bit of humor in, in how much we suck. And it looked like my hopes of witnessing my first Sharks victory of the season were shattered. But then, with only 1.9 seconds left, I witnessed the most amazing sequence of events I've ever seen on a basketball court. Ray managed to intercept the Qingdao pass and get fouled. And with only 0.3 seconds left on the clock, he would shoot two. He drained both of them, and the Shocks had secured a W. Welcome to Manta
tank to the show. Yeah. Yeah. Shark Tank, baby. It was up there as one of the most electric games I had ever watched at the Shark Tank. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, yeah. Get out the way, get out the fuck up, up away, yeah. Win, 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 win. But drinking vodka out of a bell pepper just wasn't the same as three beers in a Fanta. Nobody likes getting vodka drunk. I'm gonna be so fucking sloppy. Tomorrow, I'm probably just gonna have to call in sick. It's a good thing I work from home, but I'm, I'm not gonna get shit done tomorrow. And I had no plans of doing it again at our next home game, where we'd be playing our arch rivals, the Beijing Ducks, who had recently acquired Jeremy Lin. A game this important called for three beers and a Fanta. And I could only think of one way to smuggle them in. You gotta get three beers in this baby. Actually, you only gotta get really one beer in the baby, because I'll have a beer in each breast. That's right. Once again, I'd be going to the game in full drag. I mean, my boobs almost fill this thing, that's concerning. However, this time, I wouldn't be disguising myself as a young trashy broad named Tanya. I just gotta go take my tampons out. You ever try any white meat? This time, I'd be going as a trashy single mother, also named Tony. Because it just so happens that two boobs and the baby All right. are the perfect cover for smuggling three beers into a basketball game. Just gotta throw on a dress, some makeup, and a wig, and we can hop in a taxi. <laughs> These boobs are enormous. Hey, how are you kids? Oh, sure. Let's go Sharks. All right, here goes nothing. I got little Ricky all swaddled up. This is gonna be a big game. This game is going to determine my fandom. If they lose to the Ducks here, I just don't know if I have time for the shocks in my life anymore. Banning booze, assaulting my girlfriend just because she films me. Or I guess I should say my boyfriend because I'm, all right, I gotta get into character right now. From here on out, I am Tanya. This is little Ricky, and we're just going in to watch a game. I like crushing hoods, and I like drinking beers, but they don't need to know that until after I pass through security. Then I'll start fucking slurping beers out of little Ricky's ding dong. I made it through security, and little Ricky did too. I can't tell if I'm sweating my tits off or if just one of the beers is leaking, and that's why my tits are sweating. And with the shocks off to a commanding two-point lead, I didn't see any reason not to dump out my first tit so Once it hit my lips, I realized how much I had missed yugging beers in the shock tank and couldn't resist ripping little Ricky's head off for some more of that sweet, sweet nectar. Oh yeah, we're in business, baby. Everything was going to plan, which meant I could now focus on the most important task at hand. Fuck the ducks! Heckling the fuck out of Jeremy Lin. Hey Jeremy, I saw your press conference, you were crying. Oh, the NBA doesn't want me anymore, I've hit rock bottom. In English there's a saying, and it says, once you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. But I, Rock bottom just seems to keep getting more and more rock bottom for me. Oh yeah, you've hit rock bottom, buddy. You're worth millions of dollars, you got an NBA championship ring, you've inspired millions of Asians around the globe, not to mention you got a Harvard degree to fall back on. Look at me, I'm drinking fucking beer out of a baby skull. You merely adopted rock bottom. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't have any dignity till I was 30, and by then, it was clearly too late. Fuck the ducks. Lynn Sanity was a long time ago, buddy. Welcome to Lynn Competence. These guys are cheering for both teams. Ni Xinwan Beijing, Hai Shanghai. The Shack Tank was infested with Beijing fans. Alex Irving. Don't let all these fans go to your head, because the moment you stop delivering, they're going to throw you in the dumpster, just like they did with Marbury. But I didn't care. Jeremy was playing like a lame duck. He knows how to play a massive square guard, but you get him in the shark tank, his knees are shaking. And the beers were flowing down the hatch. All right, I'm two beers down. I still got my right tip. You always got to save the right tip for the third or fourth quarter. Oh my God, it's a tie game right now. Can I get a picture, man? 
I mean, no one's gonna believe you, it's Donnie. I needed to conserve the rest of my booze for the fourth quarter. So figured in the meantime, I'd check in on Bao Bao for old time's sake and grab a Fanta. Hey, come over here. Shinzai wo yo bao bei. Nia, dui, wo da bao bei. Shijunda. No, I'm just joking. I'm pumping it full of booze. Wo ya iga fanta. Saying goodbye to Bao Bao was especially hard this time. You are a positive force in this world. I just want to say it to you. Because I knew that if the Sharks couldn't devour the Ducks in the second half, it very well could be the last time our paths would cross. You can have the head a little Ricky. It's a token of my appreciation. Okay. That's a big if though. Bye bye. Well, I need. So I went back to my seat, determined to do whatever I could to ensure that the Ducks didn't leave the Shack Tank alive. I will haunt your dreams, Jeremy! I'll see you in your bathtub after the game! Yeah, you come home, I'll be in the tub waiting! Yes! Let's go, Jack! Welcome to the jungle, Jeremy! Win accurate! Win accurate! I was disgusted by all the people from Shanghai who showed up to the Shack Tank just to dick ride the ducks. How dare you show up in the Shack Tank and start cheering on the Beijing Ducks? Basketball is warfare. No one here gives a fuck about the Shacks. Everyone's just here to see Jeremy Lin. Show some fucking pride, Shanghai. The only thing stopping me from having a full-blown meltdown was a quick trip to the bathroom. I am officially titless. But when I got back to my seat, it was still an uncomfortably close game. We are up by one. Holy shit, seven minutes left. By the power of little Ricky, you will not make this shot. Oh, out of bounds. Out of fucking bounds. Oh, I still got some remnants. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna give me cancer. Let's go, Sharks! My God, we might win this game. I did not expect that. Why do you just let him in? There's a minute left, you just let him in for that? But to match the tone of this season, we started playing like minnows in the final minutes. Don't look now, little Ricky, but it looks like uh, the Sharks might lose to the Ducks in the Shark Tank for the first time in like six years. And with 13 seconds left, we were trailing by two. And it was Beijing's ball. Eat shit! The shot gods tried to throw us a bone, though. Oh! And on the inbound pass, the Ducks got called for a five-second penalty. Fuck the Ducks! Yeah, fuck the Ducks! Giving us one more chance at salvation. Two-point game, 12 seconds. The Manta Ray got fouled driving to the basket. And just like last game, he would have a chance to save us from the jaws of defeat with less than a second on the clock. These guys are shitting their tail feathers. I'll tell you who's not scared. Little Ricky, make the shot. I never said this was a fucking fairy tale, though. All comes down to foul shots. And he missed the goddamn free throw, sealing our fate. How do you miss those fucking foul shots, right? and sending our aspirations for the season down to the Marianas Trench. I give you a chance to become a legend in the CBA and you fucking blow it! Duck wouldn't be on the menu that night, but I'm sure they'd be eating shark fin soup up in Beijing. Jeremy, Jeremy! This is pathetic. Jeremy, stick a finger on my ass! Boo! Hey, Rick, you know what we're gonna start calling people from Shanghai the roof of the ducks? Pond scum. It's called pride. Maybe one day you'll learn about it. Until then, pawn scum. As the Patriots say, do your job. I did my job. I got three beers and a Fanta inside the Shark Tank when they banned booze. Did anyone else do their job? No. Did Sharks fans do their job? No. I met a bunch of people from Shanghai inside here tonight rooting for Jeremy Lin because, oh, they're a Jeremy fan. That is bullshit. Kobe! Oh, fuck. I'm a lefty. 
All the joy, excitement, and drunken revelry that normally comes with being a Shaxx fan had been slowly sucked out of me throughout the season. Eat shit, little Ricky! And now, in its place, came agony, shame, and darkness. You were the chosen one! You were supposed to save the Sharks, not abandon us! No! The jolly drunk man who'd stand by the Sharks through thick and thin was dead. You and the Sharks have left me with absolutely nothing! And out of his corpse crawled a new creature. A being clad in black and consumed by despair. A dark shock. Just a dream, but sometimes reality is the real nightmare. While I was back in the US for New Year's, a pandemic broke out in China, which then spread around the globe, killing millions of people, canceling sports, and crippling US China relations. The virus won, and whatever chance I had of bringing booze back to the shock tank died when China closed its borders to Americans. I was a man without a home, without a basketball team, and without hope. Is that a Shanghai Sharks jersey? Yeah. Donnie does? Yeah. Dude, is it cool if I get a photo with you? Like, you're the man. Does it look cool if you get a photo with me? No, please leave me the fuck alone. Spiraling into a deep, dark depression. Guess it's true that you either die a basketball fan or live long enough to see yourself become a degenerate alcoholic. But just when I thought all was lost and only saw rehab or liver failure in my future, I received a call. What? Jimmer. Hi, what's up? How's it going, man? I'm good. How are you doing? I have. I'm not doing so well. I know last season was tough for you, um, and that you won't be able to make it back to the Shark Tank anytime soon, but, you know, a real superhero 
is an ordinary individual who finds strength and perseveres in spite of overwhelming obstacles. Everyone feels that who they're supposed to be, Donnie, but the measure of a person, of a hero, is how well they succeed at being who they are. Wow. Trevor, I, I really appreciate hearing that. I mean, yeah. I don't know if it's going to change the fact that like I can no longer drink beers at a Sharks game or, or even go to a Sharks game, but I mean, thanks for calling. Never lose hope. The night is always darkest before the dawn, man, so just never lose hope. I just, I, I don't have really anything to look forward to in my life. Well, you know, I think that you do, because, you know, next year I'll be going back to the Shanghai Sharks. Got my shark shirt on. You got that to look forward to. You're going back to the Sharks? I'm going back to the Sharks. <laughs> Holy smokes! He hath risen. Oh! Got the right jersey on. Yeah, hey, it's a Jimmer jersey. Good. I was staring down a black hole, and yeah. um, you, you're, you're showing me the light at the end of the tunnel. That's what I'm here for, Donnie. I'm always here to help. I love you, three thousand. I love you, three thousand. I may have been on the verge of giving up on the Sharks, but not Jimmer. The King had returned, and whereas I was locked out of China indefinitely. Jimmer have been invited back. It's been a really fun summer with the family, but it's time to get back to work. I'm going back to... Shanghai! Shanghai! <laughs> and whereas I need booze to have fun at Sharks games, Jimmer is Mormon and has been sober his whole life. He may have not been the hero the Sharks deserved, but in these dark times, he was the hero the Sharks needed. A knight shining. And myself, well, I would just have to support the Sharks from exile. And knowing the team was back in good hands, I was fine with that. And hey, no one can tell me not to drink three beers and a Fanta on my own couch. I'll always believe I was the hero the Sharks deserved, but probably not the one they needed right now, nor ever. Drunk assholes really aren't the best ambassadors when it comes to diffusing geopolitical tension. And at the end of the day, I was never a hero was never a villain either. To some, I was a loyal customer. To others, I was a volatile liability. Do you want to go to police? In reality though, I was just an internet troll who took a bit way too far and in the process became an everlasting symbol. A symbol for what it means to be a passionate fan. A shock night. the NBA has kind of given up on me. Honestly, I think I would make a pretty good mother. Oh, I think he wet his pants. Does anybody have a diaper? 